Coach, maybe the biggest story in college football is in Indiana. Uh, you had a chance to see it up close. Well, big noon kickoff went there, and uh, it was incredible. I mean, it was, 100 it was one of the biggest shows we've ever had. The support, it was a beautiful day in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, the fans are great. And so the game started, and I'm watching this beating that Indiana's putting on Nebraska. I didn't see that coming. All right, I didn't. Well, I thought, you know, right. Nebraska's defense is re really good. So I, I said, I grabbed a security guy, so let's go out. We went out to the sideline, and I stood right on the Indiana sideline. I wanted to stand. First of all, I want to see their players physically, what they look like, because this could be a playoff team. And I wanted to see the mechanics of what happened. I saw exactly what you see on videotape. I saw a very extremely well coached, and a confident team, and high, high end execution. I witnessed it personally. So, the spread offense, they're running the spread option offense. And uh, I used to tell our team, because we ran a very similar offense at Iowa State, that if properly executed, it's hard to stop. I would go further, I said, it's impossible to stop. The only way you stop it is you stop yourself. Right. When I show you these two plays, you're going to see, draw me up a defense that can stop this. And obviously, Nebraska really struggled. If they execute properly, defense is going to have a hard time stopping these guys. Let's take a look at these two plays. All right, Jerry, this is early in the game, and this is perfect execution of a triple option RPO. Right. Sounds complicated. <laughs> you want to know why? Because it is a little bit. OK, Curtis Rourke is the quarterback. This is before his thumb injury. And Miles Price is the stacked receiver outside. So let's, let's unpack this. So it's an inside zone. You're going to read the defensive end. He reads the end, the end closes. He pulls it, that's read one. Right. Read two is the quarterback can run it, but they send the corner blitz. So what does our man Curtis Work do? He does exactly what he's supposed to do. He flips the ball out to him. Miles Price, and again, I think the best perimeter blocking team I've seen this year. They block it well, he gets in the end zone. And the hardest part to score, you know, you're inside the 10 yard line, that's really hard. Coach, Curtis Rock is out of the game. Taven Jackson is now in the game, and he's got an opportunity here. He's on, he's on a two-yard line. He's got to execute this. How about this? Indiana not only has good players, they got depth. <laughs> so Taven Jackson comes in the game, and normally people, uh, viewers and fans, they hear the word RPO. That's a run with a pass, pass option. option. Right. This is a pass with a run option, so it's P-R-O. The quarterback, Taven, sends Miles Cross in motion, He's watching the defense. Obviously, they rock and roll the safeties. He likes the numbers. So he's taught, if you have numbers, throw the ball. And this is actually a screen pass. It's got to be behind the line of scrimmage because receivers got out here and make the block. All right, let's go back now. There's a lot to this. The offensive line is blocking zone right. Right. That's the run. So it's pass, which is a screen, run option. If the quarterback doesn't like, they had two defenders or three defenders out here, he would hand the ball off. So it's a pass, unless he doesn't like the numbers, then he runs the ball. Would you say the way Indiana's coached, the way they're playing, with this offense, they could beat anybody on their schedule? I would say that, and then I have a little advantage. I stood right there, and I made sure, because I didn't want to, you, you see this, but in this, I want to really make this point, it's very rare when you see this and then you go see it in a person. It, it's, a, it's a very good players, Excellent coaching staff, and, I, and when, when I mentioned Indiana, their coaching staff makes very good players play great, which to me is a sign of an excellent coaching staff.